Tesla was on the way to disrupt the energy industry with their breakthrough products like the Tesla solar roof and the Powerwall home battery. But recently, things have taken a very, a very surprising turn. I'll tell you what's been happening and is this a sign for Tesla to start warning about as their automotive competition is catching up. And then I will also be joined by a solar industry expert and a good friend of mine, Crystal Hosmer, and she will try to explain uh, to me and all of you guys uh, this very, very odd phenomenon. And as always, we'll take questions from you, my live audience. And we're going to start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. I'm streaming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona this week. Let me know in the chat where you're watching me from. And uh, this has been an amazing week here. I'm actually going to drive back to Vegas tomorrow for 10 days for some really cool stuff. But I got to meet so many amazing people who I didn't even realize live here in Arizona, including Paul Smith, who is the founder of Plasma Kinetics. And if you didn't notice and don't know, my interview with Paul is actually the most viewed video on this channel. It was great to meet him and his wife. We had a great dinner uh, and a conversation. And I have a feeling a follow-up video is coming up very soon. But let's talk about this topic because, listen, no doubt Tesla is the best thing that happened to the automotive industry and mainly the consumers uh, and of course the birds and the bees and whales um, because they've disrupted everything and now dragged all the legacy manufacturers into making electric cars they didn't want to make and most importantly paved the way to startups like Rivian and Lucent and Lorestown and Fisker that hasn't happened in many decades and now look what's happening so there's just no doubt that Tesla is disrupting of course Elon Musk with SpaceX and so many other and let's hope Twitter also this time around Though the jury's out on that as well. Let me know actually in the in the comments whether or not you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that Tesla that that Twitter is is being run by Elon Musk. I like it so far. I, I have hopes. I, I have hopes. Um now, several years ago, as you know, Tesla acquired Solar City, which at that time was looked at as kind of a, a favor to Elon Musk's cousins who who were the founders, but uh, many people, including myself, thought it was a great idea because, you know, Tesla could become an energy company even more than it was a car company because the energy industry is much, much bigger and humongous. And this would be a great way to kick some gas, right, to take on the, the oil industry. And, uh, you know, um, I wasn't the, the only one who thought this was going to be a, a, a great idea. Elon Musk himself. Uh, back in the day, uh, thought very much uh, the same when he was talking about during the Q3 of the earnings call back in 2019. Uh, and uh, during that call, he said this. I think there's generally a um, lack of, of understanding or appreciation for the growth of Tesla Energy, as Kanal was talking about. Um, in the long term, I expect Tesla Energy to be of the same uh, r r roughly the same size as Tesla's automotive uh, sector or business. Yeah, and I really, a lot of it expected that it's going to be even bigger. Because remember, Tesla already had an amazing energy product, which is the supercharger network. Supercharger network is not an automotive product. It is an energy product, and it was already widely successful. A lot of people credit it for essentially the success of Tesla because it was such a, an important role. And even now, a lot of people say that the most important thing that they like when uh, about Tesla when they buy one is the fact that it's a supercharger network. So it is an energy product. But then on top of that, right away, they came up with a solar roof. Now, to me, that was absolutely amazing. This is two in one, right? A lot of you who probably have put a you know solar panels on your on your roof and then find out that you know if your roof is uh, ten. Um, 10 years old and then you put a solar panels on it and another 10 years you have to change your roof well you have to take the solar panels off and then put them back on and you know it costs a little extra and it could be a problem the fact that it's incorporated is such a big deal first of all it's sturdier secondly you don't have to do the whole switcheroo anything and honestly it just looks so much better i don't know if you guys have ever seen a, a tesla solar roof the houses look amazing. Uh, I, I remember I interviewed the owner of one of the first solar roofs 
uh, in San Jose, that was like feels like it's many, many years ago, and it looked great. As a matter of some of the footage that you've been looking at is the one that I've taped. Um, you know that 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 was just a, a breakthrough product that I thought was going to take off, but and of course the power wall, which means that it just kind of doubles the um, the benefits of having a solar energy because now you can store it. You don't have to sell it back to uh, your utility company. Now, all of that looked really good. But then little by little, things just stopped happening. Like for example, in Q2 of this year, the revenues from the solar products is still only one six of Tesla total revenues. Um, Electric has reported recently that uh, Tesla has been only installing about a hundred solar roofs per month, which is not that many. Uh, and this month, uh, Tesla has dropped to fourth uh, in the market share here in the United States with only 2% of market share as far as solar energy is concerned. And as you guys probably have read, if you haven't, I'll tell you, Electric has reported that this week they've been getting uh, reports from customers in major uh, metropolitan areas with, with a lot of sun, like Los Angeles, Northern California, uh, Oregon, Florida, uh, that the projects were being canceled and the customers were being refunded. Um, Elex Electric also reported, and you know, their reporting is usually pretty good. So for now, unless I hear otherwise, I will take it with 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 a grain of salt. But nevertheless, um, the Tesla has been shutting down operations in those areas, which is, you know, I, I, I don't even know what to think about it because I thought the plan was really good the products were very good obviously there's still incentives i know crystal will talk about it in just a second so and i haven't seen tesla and elon musk fail at anything big yes some of the features are delayed yes and you know i'm the biggest critic when that happens and you know things don't happen 100 percent like elon musk says however i've never seen sort of a a a, a uh an industry product or 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 such big part of elon musk's empire to not do at least well so i honestly don't understand why this is happening and whether or not it's temporary and tesla is regrouping or tesla may just be out of the solar energy game which i can't even believe i'm saying but that's what the reports i guess are suggesting so why is it uh and this is a good time to bring in uh crystal uh she is a good friend of mine she also lives in vegas so we're gonna hang out pretty soon hopefully she's a senior solar consultant with robco electric uh crystal a welcome to the show and uh can you please enlighten me and tell me uh, what what is going on and are you surprised by this as much as i am unfortunately not really about two years ago, Tesla reduced their price to be well under market. And we all know what's happened to the supply chain. Everything's gotten more expensive. So what was kind of a loss leader is now greater. You can only do that for so long before it catches up with you. Well, so is this an operational business decision or is this because Tesla is not getting as many customers as they should? I mean, 2% of... Um, of the market share, that's almost nothing. I and mean, I know the leader of Sunrun has 15%. So is this a decision because they're not making enough money? Or is the, the reason they're not making enough money is because not as many people are, are buying it? I think it has more to do with just really poor customer experiences. Uh, Tesla has taken a lot of the people out of the equation. Solar is complicated. It's even more complicated than buying a car. And when you have questions, you want answers. And over and over again, I hear, you know, not just from customers, but also, you know, various YouTube videos and you know, posts on Reddit and that kind of thing that getting a hold of Tesla with solar is really difficult. And people get really frustrated and angry and upset when they can't get their questions answered. They can't get their systems turned on. They can't get customer service. So you're paying that really cheap price, but you're not getting any answers. And that's really turns people off. 
Okay, so this is this is something really I know when we talked before this it really stuck with me. So, you know, their winning formula for selling cars is a really as little interaction as possible because people don't like interaction because the interaction means going to the dealer and sitting there for six hours, right? So Tesla has kind of streamlined it and you can just sometimes pick up a car with the QR code, drive it and then pay online and boom, the car shows up how many months later at your door. But nevertheless, the process is more pleasant for people, right? And it looks like they're applying the same kind of a thing, except for in solar, it doesn't work that way. So tell me a little bit about why is this sort of upside down in the industry? Why do people need their questions answered or they go into the competition? Well, cars are a more universal thing. Everybody kind of knows how a car operates and how to drive it. We all have that background knowledge, but solar is a very personal thing. Every system is designed specifically for that customer, for their house and their lifestyle. Then you also have interfacing with the permit folks, the city or the county that's doing your permit and the utility. Every single utilities billing plan and plan for uh, permission to operate is different. It's just a much more hands on thing. And taking those people out of there is just causing a lot of frustration for customers. Well, what is the most important questions that people ask when they're trying to buy solar? Because I got to admit, when I looked into it and, you know, we did this whole, you know, uh, video with uh, Energy Pal, you know, I, I realized I had more questions than I really even thought because things are really complicated. But if you were to think of top two or three questions that people absolutely need someone else to answer before they move forward with it, what, what, what are they? Well, the first question is, how much power do you use now? because the idea with solar is kind of like Goldilocks. It needs to be not too big, not too small, just right. So you need to understand how much power do you use now? And then you need to understand, is this system that these people are proposing gonna meet my power needs? With solar, people think solar is gonna replace all my electricity from the power grid. So you need to have both sides of that equation. What am I using now? What is my system gonna produce? That needs to be in balance. The other big question that people often have is, is the company that I'm picking going to be around to take care of me for 20 or 25 years? What's the warranty look like? What's going to happen with the panels? Um, because it's a more long term investment, you know, with a car, you might have a car for three to five years. But with solar, it's going to be on your roof for 25 years. So there's a lot more questions about the long term, the longevity of the equipment and the longevity of the company. So, okay, so for one, I'm gathering that even though Tesla is very competitive with pricing, the fact that people cannot necessarily get the information that they want, like answering the sim simple but kind of complicated questions, is what turning people away. Are you seeing this because when customers come to you, they already explore Tesla uh, and they're saying that, hey, listen, I would have bought it. The pricing is competitive, but I came to you because you're a real person talking to me. Is that the experience right now? We do see that a lot because people just, they get so frustrated because they cannot get someone on the phone. They can't get responses to email. They can't get responses to text messages. Getting solar is a kind of a nerve wracking process. I mean, it's your roof, it's your electric panel. When you got a question, you want an answer. And with Tesla, it's just, it's really hard to get hold of them. And that really is a shame because the solar roof product, like you said, is very innovative. It's a great product, but the timelines, they just suck. And people just get so frustrated that they just can't get answers when they want them. We have more questions that we can answer. Let me just go quickly through some of the ones that I think. Uh, okay, I'm now seeing Mexican made a large format panel where it was only Chinese manufacturers just a few years ago. Um, are more panels being made in Mexico and other, in other countries that are not in China or in Asia. Yeah, we're starting to see manufacturing pick up in Malaysia, a little bit in Mexico and more American manufacturing. As I said, Hanwha has got a big facility in Georgia. Meyer Burger, which is a Swiss company that currently manufactures in Germany, is building a gigantic facility in Goodyear, Arizona. So yeah, those policies are starting to work. There is more manufacturing in different places. Very cool. All right. The next one is from Jonathan. Does the new solar bill include incentives for people to increase uh, what they already have? Not specifically, but 
The federal tax credit is available any year you install solar. So if you've already got an existing system and you're doing an add-on, you're adding eight or 10 panels, or you're adding batteries, you can claim the tax credit again for the tax year where you do the add-on. So if I got solar in 2018, and now I'm putting an add-on here in uh, 2023, I can claim the tax credit on the add-on, or if I'm adding batteries to my existing system, that was a change in the law. Um, batteries now qualify for the tax credit in the US. Uh, alternate reality says Tesla bot will soon be installing solar, which it is alternate reality right now. But, you know, that's kind <laughs> of a job that, well, I mean, that's the kind of job you want a robot to do, right? Because robot falls off the roof, you know, um, just replace a couple of parts and he's good to go. So, I, I mean, this is this is actually probably going to happen sooner or later. Um, all well, right. Uh, not so much the robot falling off the roof, but robots don't get distracted and quality control would probably improve if robots were involved because they would double check every single thing where humans don't always remember to do that. That is that is true. Uh, all right. So next one is explain if you can to viewers about all of these YouTube solar companies that promise free or uh, fed free panels. Those are all just a bunch of nonsense. They are technically telling the truth in that there is a federal tax credit for solar and sometimes there are local incentives or sometimes there's net metering. But boys and girls, there is no such thing as a free lunch. No one is buying you solar panels. <laughs> there is no such thing as free solar. Here's an interesting one because I've heard this one before, even though it doesn't make sense for me. Alternate reality once again says solar panels don't add value to the house though right after that rp says i would pay more for a house that had solar uh can you talk a little bit about whether or not that's really true that is an exceptionally good question an own solar system absolutely adds resale value to a house because solar is a universal every single person who ever looks at that house or lives in that house needs to buy electricity free electricity is of value to every single buyer. It's not like a swimming pool. Some people like swimming pools, some people don't. Everybody knows that a house with a pool costs more money to own because you're paying more for water, electricity, chemicals, and the nice pool man to come. But a paid off solar system absolutely adds value because it's free electricity. It's reducing the monthly cost of ownership of the house. So it has value to all buyers. Um, now, in most markets, it's somewhere between 4 and 6% added resale value. Now, I'm assuming if you're leasing, that's not as much. And uh, and so I'm sure there are complications, uh, you know, there that is, as well. That is correct. A leased system can impact a borrower's debt to income ratio because it's an obligation. Leased systems are often either no impact or negative value. It depends on the terms of the lease. Uh, all right, Crystal, thank you so much. And I will see you for uh, our regular crepes uh, uh, a lunch uh, in the next few days. Absolutely. Have a good one, Alex. Safe travels. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. Uh, let's let me uh, thank you for all the questions, by the way. And I know we didn't answer all of them, and and we will next time, and maybe just make a topic out of it. Um, once again, thank you to Crystal, my friends, for answering all these questions. And like I said, you see the link in the repost it will be in the description of the video um she just posted it and i'm going to post it one more time for you uh, right here especially if you're in vegas area uh check her out she will answer all your questions the most knowledgeable person i know when it comes to solar so thank you so much to crystal for uh, joining me and uh fielding all of the questions silly questions from me and uh a little bit smarter questions from you guys so i appreciate that and looking forward to more comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged. Take it